Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. My name is Leonem and I am extremely thankful that you are here with me today. Today I have for you four Pottery Barn dupes that I think I nailed them, but you're going to have to let me know what you think. Let's get started. The first inspiration is this beautiful Pottery Barn platter. It is light, it's airy, and I just love it. I'm going to try to recreate the smaller one using this Dollar Tree tray from their party section. I'm going to give it several coats of this Rust-Oleum Satin Finish White Spray Paint. I'm going to do several light ones because that way you'll get full coverage, but kind of dry quickly and not get any runs. Once it was dry, I brought it back inside, and I'm going to use multiple brushes and some watered-down paint. This is Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the coastal blue I did decide to also add a little bit of regular paint um, just so that it can darken up here and there but I'm gonna speed it up quite a bit because it took me a little bit and I don't want to bore you with all the details but I do want you to see the process the original piece the inspiration from Pottery Barn actually had a watercolor hand painted look which is awesome because of course mine's gonna definitely look like it was hand painted and i am trying my best to recreate um, every detail of the original platter so i'll let you watch here as i create it I already have all the edge done. Now I'm gonna to start to fill in the middle portion. And again, I'm trying to follow it as close as possible to the original style and design. And we are just about done. I love doing things like this. I love recreating, you know, just expensive paintings or even a platter like this one. Here's a reminder of what it looked like. And here's mine. I love it. I love it. I think I'm so proud of it. I love the way it turned out and it's actually quite close, but let me know what you think. enjoy DIY home decor make sure you subscribe to our channel I post every single week so make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss any of the content the next pottery barn inspiration is the succulent arrangement it has a metal box and it has all these succulents on the inside and it's two hundred and fifty dollars let's recreate it with some scrap wood I have this two by four it was already painted white I think it's one of those that you can get that was like already white anywho I used part of it for a bench that I flipped recently and I'm gonna use the remaining piece to create a box so I'm just gonna cut two long pieces equal sizes and then use those two long pieces then to make sure that I have two side pieces on the same size so normally when I cut long pieces or any pieces that I want them to be exactly the same size I then have both pieces together and I make sure to see if I need to cut anything and in this one I had to cut just a sliver of wood to make sure that they're all even but anyways so now to the side ones I'm gonna use the remaining piece and cut two smaller sizes to fit on each side of the box my friend if you have not yet visited my Etsy shop I encourage you to do so it is linked down below in the description box, I have from Hostile decals that you can use for your own sign and just recently added a new collection of watercolor inspirational items. So make sure you check it out. Now that I have everything cut, it's time to put everything together. I'm going to use a combination of wood glue as well as brad nails. The brad nails that I am using are an 18 gauge 1 inch brad nails and it's a Ryobi brad nailer. I love these. I, I have actually three of them and um for different purposes and um i love using them I, I i do have them on my amazon store if you want to check them out it is linked down below i have a lot of my favorite supplies tools and paint and items crafting items everything on my amazon store and it's always linked down in the description box so as you can see we're just creating a very simple box two long sides two shorter ends i'm going to give everything a fresh coat of rust-oleum chalk paint in the linen white this is just to freshen it up 
brighten it up because it was a little dingy with just the original color. Okay, I know the inspiration was black. <laughs> I I had every intention of painting it in black and then I thought, but wait a minute, I want to keep it. So I prefer white, which is why I kept it white. However, you can certainly paint this black at any time and be very, very close to the original. But overall design, I just wanted to keep it obviously very close to the inspiration, but I just wanted to have it white because it goes better. All right, so as you saw there, I cut a piece of foam core from the Dollar Tree to fit the bottom and hot glued it because what's gonna be inside of the box is not gonna be heavy at all and it would be sufficient. All right, so now we're gonna add just some crafting stuffing paper. This is just like shipping paper and I'm just gonna stuff it in there. And then here come the succulents. These are all from Dollar Tree. I have had them for a while. I'd probably say I'd added about, I don't know, maybe about 10 or 12 of them. I had them on hand, I didn't have to buy any of them. But if you were to buy them, of course, they're $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna place them inside to mimic this original one from Pottery Barn, and this is mine. I think I like mine better, to be honest with you, but I think it's because it's bright and white and it's just my style, but I love the way it turned out. If you are enjoying this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow and helps this video reach more people. The next inspiration piece is this farmhouse striped indoor and outdoor lumber pillow that was $55.50. I knew I, I could recreate it. Now I resurfaced this lumber pillow for the fall. You could tell it has that fall color. So I'm gonna remove everything from it and I'm just gonna keep the pillow. And then we're gonna take some drop cloth. I just recently purchased this one. I haven't um, opened it yet at all. And I didn't buy it specifically for the pillow. I just always like to have drop cloth on hand. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to use the pillow to just kind of see what size piece of drop cloth we need to cut. So I'm just going to make a couple slits, tear and cut what I need and make sure that I have a size that's going to cover the pillow completely on all sides. And then it's time to start adding some tape. I'm going to start taping with masking, masking tape. And this is just one I get at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to try to keep it with the same design as the original piece from Pottery Barn. So we're going to add several pieces of tape. And it's going to give me two small stripes and then a thicker one in the center. For the paint color, I am using Waverly chalk paint in the ink, and I started using it with straight out of the bottle. So just dipping the brush and painting it, and it was taking forever because it's so thick. If you've ever worked with Waverly paint, you know what I'm talking about. It's just really thick. So I decided to water it down, and this worked awesome. I watered down the paint, and it worked really, really well. And then <laughs> I removed the tape. The first one with the thick paint was great crisp lines perfect then it came the watered down one and yeah there was a lot of bleed through all right so here we are <laughs> i got a ton of bleed through and i had a feeling because when i watered down the paint it kind of dawned on me what what am i doing because it's going to bleed through i guess i just had hope that it didn't now this one wasn't as bad but this one was pretty bad like on both sides. Now the one I use regular paint without watering down, it looked pretty sharp. It looked really good. So I'm gonna do it all over again. <laughs> I'm gonna get another piece of drop cloth and I am going to actually tape it and maybe take it outside and spray paint it. Uh, let me think about that. Okay, I've got a new piece. I've taped it and I am gonna take it outside and I am going to spray paint it. I think I'm crazy for doing that, but I think it's going to give me the best coverage without the heavy paint. Um, the only thing is, is I have to figure out how to cover this part over here. So I just got to figure it out, but I have an idea. So let's go outside. Okay. So what I did was I took the one that I messed up, <laughs> the one that had bleed through. I cut it into pieces and I taped it with the blue tape on both ends so that I don't have any spray paint get on the 
new drop cloth. That's the plan. Let's see. <laughs> I am using Rustoleum Flat um, Black spray paint. And um, let's try it. All right, so moment of truth, let's remove all the excess tape and coverings. And this one works really well. I did get not bleed through, just a little bit of overspray with the tape. You can see it on the other side, but I was okay with that. I think I'm just so glad it turned out really well. So now I'm just going to start building the pillowcase. You know that I love using either hot glue or fabric um, adhesive tape. I didn't have any fabric adhesive tape left over, so I'm just going to use hot glue, and that works really well for me. So I'm just going to hot glue two ends instead of three. That way we can use this as a true pillow cover and bring the pillow in and out as we need. So I flipped it inside out or outside in, and I'm just going to put the pillow in, and that's it. And I love making pillow covers that the pillow fits really snugly in there, but here's the original piece. And then here's mine. I love it. I think I needed to like iron it a little bit. <laughs> but nonetheless, I think the style looks really close. Let me know what you think. For the next inspiration from Pottery Barn is this neutral framed print. It was $900, well, $899 to be exact. And it did go higher, but of course it was if you make a large one or if you purchase the large one, but the smallest size was $899. I cut out a piece of foam core from Dollar Tree in a rectangular size. And now I'm gonna use this little mixture of spackle and paint that I use and I always have on hand, always have it pre-mixed because it just adds texture to whatever piece or whatever surface I wanna add it to. Once that was dry, I'm gonna start painting. And this is, I love doing this guys. I love painting, I, it's just to me is so therapeutic. And so I'm just going to start adding, this is Rust-Oleum Chalk Paint in the Chiffon Cream. And then we're going to add some Rust-Oleum Chalk Paint in the, I believe it was the darker one. So I think it was the charcoal tone. Yeah. And then I am using my Chalk Paint brush because it's awesome. I love it. And I do have it on my Amazon store. And as you can tell, I just kept adding, shadowing, adding. Now I'm using a different brush, just adding a lot of texture and just trying to mimic as close as possible to the inspiration from Pottery Barn. And um, yeah, you're gonna have to let me know what you think of this one. Um, I loved it. I think it turned out really, really well. And um, yeah, but anyways, we're gonna start framing it. I'm gonna use these bamboo dowels. They are flat and I get them on Amazon. They come a ton in a little baggie and they're really cool to work with. So I'm gonna use them and I'm gonna leave them just in this tone because the original piece had a very light tone wood frame around it. So we're gonna try to keep it as close. Here's the original and then here's mine I love it it's a little different I'll admit it but I think overall it has the same look and feel and for a couple of dollars I mean you can't go wrong all right you're gonna have to let me know which one is your favorite or which one do you think I nailed the most and even tell me which one I didn't nail. I don't mind, but let me know what you think down in the comments. If you are visiting for the first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you consider joining our YouTube family and hitting that subscribe button. And if you are returning, welcome back. As always, I'm gonna have a playlist here and another video for you to watch. Just make sure you click on one of these. Have a blessed day and I'll see you later. Bye.